You're the first king that I've ever met in Africa who was identified with things different than gold or real estate or oil or just ceremony. I mean, you, you have advanced the cause of HIV AIDS testing. You've been a vocal advocate for the environment. You're a passionate promoter of education. I've heard you challenge parents to raise their children the way your parents raised you. Is, is, is this unique as functioning as a king or, or is this just something that goes with the job? I don't know with the uniqueness of that. It is the reality. We were brought here, children enter into this world. Innocent, defenseless, helpless. They depend on adults to guide and protect them. It's your natural responsibility to take care of your children. It's an obligation for society to build amenities that will secure the future of our children. So I am just doing what leaders are supposed to do. And so it's not unique in that sense. It may be some people are violating their natural responsibility and I'm staying on course to do what I have to do. That, that makes you sound more like a preacher or a political leader than just a traditional, what some people might call tribal leader. Is this the new chieftaincy that we can look forward to? You know, when you talk about tribalism, and the words, it has a negative connotation. Right. It's not that. Tribe is strength. Tribe is security. Tribe is safety. Tribe is respecting other people's territory. Tribe is a sense of belongingness, a sense of culture, a sense of identity. And that is what tribe is all about. The Jews are tribal. And that's how they've been able to hold their own for so long. If each and every person hold their own, and come together, we can be a strong nation.